Hello and welcome to the next requested system test brought to you by Simplex 9838 Productions. Well, not brought to you by, but requested by. And this one is featuring a guest appearance from our water heater again. Alright, so let's take a look at the devices. We still have the 4903-9217 up. I think that's what the model number is. Um, same panel, same control module, same BG12LX. Not going to move. Still need to put that sign up though. should really do that. Uh, zone monitor module. The wires up here are still a mess. Uh, CO detector is in the same spot. Did try to clean these up a little bit, finally get rid of the tape on there by putting up cable tacks. So you got that. Got a simplex smoke and heat as normal. Just like the last requested system, we have the... I'm not remembering this pole station model number. It's, it's so common, most of you know it, and you're going to think I'm crazy that it's just slipping my mind right now. 4251-20, did it, ha, okay. Um, all right, so we got that over there. <laughs> Down on this side, you know, it's always great when we have simplex equipment out, right? This thing. Because they have to do things like this, where the junction box is turned in a way, I still didn't clean this up, by the way, sorry. It's turned in a way where I would need to take these screws out and adjust them to, to fix it, and I don't want to turn the junction box. It's a pain. It's a real big pain. So I'd either need to get new junction boxes that allow me to have screws wherever I want to put them instead of just in two spots like they are, or I would need to rotate this all the time. So I, I don't know, I'll fix it eventually. But for now, this is fine. Let's just pretend it's right again. That's what we always do. This is the uh, 90, oh, sorry, 4901-9805 horn on a, it's a 4903 light plate, but I don't remember the model number off the top of my head. And down here we have the notifier BG12L, as uh, that's the only BG12L I have. There's no cat around this time, well actually she's eating her food right over there, and she's not over here this time. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and start here. Alright, cool jump cut, because I just missed, uh, I had a fail. So let's go ahead and try this again. The system is in March time. So these guys will be doing March time. Strobes will also be doing March time. Um, I've got the filter on both of them, so let's go. So you might have noticed, this strobe was going each time with March time, but this strobe on the other hand, it doesn't charge up fast enough to uh, blink every time. So it's blinking every few times. Um, kind of interesting. While we're standing down here, let's reset this pole station. I think I'm just going to test the pole stations today. Um, just because... All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, so let's go down this way and we will do the BG12LX. Those things are noisy. Be curious to see how far away we can hear them. Uh, oh, we'll test that today too, because I forgot to do that in the last video, I realized. Let me get my B key ready here. Now, the way we normally do this in the field is we put the key in, in most cases. We do 
that, so we activate it. And we can click a reset. 42 to 51 does 20. Right? So I'm not crazy. I'm probably crazy, but I Let's do the carbon monoxide alarm. All right. I guess it's failing. That's happened before, and I power cycled it, and it reset, and that was fine. But uh, this time it's saying, no thanks. I'm not going to activate, so that's cool. Um... Let's see, let me get let me get the heat detector and alarm because I want to walk around just the basement and see how loud these things are. Everything's already reset, so that's cool. Go ahead and reset the panel. And guys, that's it for this video today. The next requested system test will be coming out on this Wednesday, so that's just two days away. Um, you know, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. Oh, I'm gonna say I cheated with this because I had to put both of these on here. Um, they both have resistors behind them still. But because I have the filter, it doesn't let supervision current go through. It's too, uh, supervision current's too low. This has a minimum of five volts and this is like super low. I don't know. Um, so I just put the uh, resistor in there. I T tapped it. Don't do that. You would never do this on a real, any of this on a real system. So just keep that in mind. But uh, that's it for the video today. I'll see you guys in the next one on Wednesday, which will be requested by Evanbart410. And that's the last one before um, you guys started requesting ceiling mounted devices. So after that, we will start getting ceiling mounted devices and we are good to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Leave comments below, subscribe, like all that kind of fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. The system will do March time. And here we go. Or the system will do nothing. It's beeping. I'm in trouble and... What's my trouble? I've got reverse polarity on here, don't I? I have, I have this thing backwards. Oops. Okay, hold on.